Greetings fellow mechanic. I'm sure that you're all very well versed in the dark arts of the minibike assembly by now in 7 days to die. And it's about to get even better. Vehicles are taking a big leap forward and I say that even if we might not be getting a gyrocopter which I covered in the last video. Let's have a quick look at some of the other vehicle pieces which are coming in Alpha 17 confirmed, not just hopeful items. We're going to be focusing on the vehicle overhaul items. We get new physics, which we'll get into later as Madwell showcases it in some videos. We're getting a bicycle. We're getting a real motorcycle finally. We're even getting a vehicle which can hold multiple players, the Jeep. Steering with the mouse has been confirmed. There are new camera controls while on the vehicle. The Jeep will damage blocks and has on bunny hopping and increased uphill cycling with the bicycle. Something not mentioned is that you can also open the map while driving. But well, let's listen to Manuel as he covers the bicycle. Alright, so here's the bicycle. I don't have any sounds hooked up to it yet, but this is using a brand new um, vehicle system that's kind of XML driven. Oh man, I need to make a build. This is too too laggy in the editor. Sorry guys. <laughs> but yeah, we have like feet I came. This is just the motorcycle animation too, so I'm surprised it looks this good. Actually, we haven't got a special animation for the uh or this is the mini bike sitting animation. But yeah, it's pretty nice. The new vehicle system, like, see how the camera lurks in and out when you get some speed going and take off, and the faster you get going, the kind of the further he pulls away from the from the camera. And then if you hold shift down, there's kind of a there's more there's a extra torque applied, which could equate to some speed. It's mostly noticeable going up a hill. See how he's like, oh man, I can't make it up this hill. This is tough. So you hold shift down. And then he starts accelerating harder. And that's going to use stamina. Later, we haven't got that part implemented yet, but the torque part's there. But it's going to use more stamina when you press sprint. And we might kind of reduce the base speed to kind of like a cruising speed. And then shift will make you go faster and add more torque for getting up hills. And that same system is going to apply to all the vehicles. The bicycle looks surprisingly good and seems to handle very well too, even if it's pretty early. I think this is just such a great addition. And I'm sure in the past I was not the only one calling for bicycle as an early game vehicle. While it shouldn't be as fast as the minimike, of course, nor hold as much loot, perhaps it doesn't even have a basket. It should help the players explore early on in the game. Currently in 7 Days to Die, you run around on foot around the base and uh, between cities and towns, which can get very tedious if you have to go long distances. Lots of coffee or beer or tea just to keep the stamina up. But something as simple as a bicycle has never existed, even though it would make a lot more sense to grab a bicycle and cycle around on the roads rather than walking everywhere. Which of course makes you wonder, in most zombie shows, such as The Walking Dead, I can't really recall seeing bicycles ever being used. People were either walking or running or driving, but no bicycles. Did zombies steal them all? So this is really going to be an early game changer, allowing for a lot better exploration even before you get to the minibike. Well done, fun pimps. Now onto the new motorcycle. Finally, a proper motorcycle upgrade path from the minibike. Let's hear from Madball again and watch it in action. So here we have the new motorcycle. Um, we have to work on the uh, gear shifting and get all that tuned in. So I'm forewarning you guys when I give a gas, you go, oh, that sounds like shit, but and it does, but we're going to work on that and improve it. I 
the idle sounds pretty badass. So what do we think? Well, I would say it looks better than the minibike. Visually, it's a lot more appealing. Sound-wise, it's alright, if not terribly good, but at least Manuel mentioned that it's still early. Handling-wise, alright in this showcase. It seemed pretty much to be a minibike reskin with some extra changes as far as the physics. It doesn't seem to be significantly faster, uh, even though it handles better. So hopefully all that is addressed uh, in the final version. A newer video dives back into some of the updates of the motorcycle. So let's check that one out. I haven't even heard these yet. Cool. Yeah, that's a lot better than the last time. And uh, space bar is brake. Watch my tire hit the brakes here. When I had the gas on while I was braking. Pretty funny. The seat is hop, I think. Yeah, so you can, I think I got a wheelie there for a second. Now for now, I believe water you just slows you down. Yeah. So I hope I got enough oxygen to get out of here. <laughs> and that's pretty much how we're gonna handle that. No more tearing your bike down up into pieces just to get unstuck from water. It's a big, big pain in the butt. That was pretty neat, the momentum kind of got me through it. It seems improved in the sound department at least. It also seems to have the block destruction turned on, which the forum page only mentioned being for the Jeep. But it's great to see the motorcycle having this as well. I hope that the minibike will not have it, as that would be for sure a big differentiator in minibike versus the motorcycle. Right now, as we all know, running into anything with a minibike is an instant showstopper, and being able to run over small objects with a motorcycle and being able to keep going would really be nice. Hopefully, it does this in a less significant way than a full Jeep. Maybe it can break some small things, throw zombies out of the way, but not break stronger blocks like a Jeep could potentially. Manmal also showcases some new functionality that they seem to be considering. The ability to drive in water as a way to get out of water. Whereas currently, if the minibike gets stuck, it breaks, forcing a lot of effort to empty it, to dismantle it, then put it back together, refuel it, just because you hit a patch of water. Beyond this, I feel they need to make sure there are other differentiators between motorcycle and the minibike. Maybe the motorcycle has more storage in it for one. One thing which Manuel shows off in the next video is the ragdoll physics, where hitting zombies with a motorcycle would push and toss them out of the way. I hope this is kept to the motorcycle and the jeep and not introduced for the minibike. 
Furthermore, I anticipate a speed review, giving you a logical progression in slow speed on bicycles, medium on the minibike, and fastest on the motorcycle, with the Jeep maybe somewhere between the minibike and the motorcycle. But uh, let's have a look at the motorcycle plowing into some zombies in another manual video. Hey everyone, it's Joel from the Fun Pimps, and we're here to demonstrate some new vehicle uh, ragdoll interactions. So instead of just killing everything when you run them over now, we've got a setup where they can uh, ragdoll when you hit them, and it's pretty cool. If I can show you guys, it's kind of hard to see sometimes. There we go. See how it knocked him down and he, he gets back up. So that looks great, and a much better deal than we had in Alpha 15 or especially in Alpha 16. In Alpha 15, one of my favorite pastimes was running over animals as a way to hunt. In Alpha 16, hitting any animal, any zombie would instantly bring you to a standstill. Alpha 15 had you run zombies over and do some damage, even though it took some time to kill the stronger ones naturally. But in Alpha 16, you just could get into a lot of trouble by accidentally running into zombie as you would stop and you would get bashed by the said zombie and this would be even worse if there was a horde. But uh, let's finish this off by covering some small tweaks to the minibike which have been done, if not specifically announced. So here's the minibike, you guys are familiar with it. So. So the minibike has gotten some love too. New audio, change in sound as you slow down or speed up. Handling also seems to mimic what we saw on the bicycle and the motorcycle with leaning as you drive left and right. Otherwise it seems to be pretty similar and definitely appears slower than the motorcycle although that could be related to the engine quality as well. It's hard to be certain. So are you excited about the progression of early bicycle to mid game minibike and late game motorcycle? Does it make sense? How would you differentiate them? Please discuss in the comment section below and tell me your thoughts about it. If you enjoyed this Alpha 17 feature mini series, do subscribe to be notified of future ones. Next time we'll cover the Jeep, which I'm really excited to see. Stay tuned. Special thanks to the great patrons supporting the channel. If you would like to join the vetted community and support these videos, do follow the Patreon link below.